some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Kinderdale, Texas with Cody Lowroller. As he attempts to twist an officer's words to his own narrative. But he's not very good at it. And in fact, there'll be one point in this little tale that will show how very stupid this guy is. Stupendously stupid. Now this video is 40 minutes long. I had to cut a lot of material out. It's not all dead air. It's just that he just talks in circles a lot trying to get the cop to stumble. But I'm not going to subject you to his circular reasoning, so let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Do you have any documentation to show how many arrests have been made and what the charges are and if, the, if this type of stuff's going on that here? Is, that I is find an open records request, and again, yeah. I'm going to have to print you a copy because... And you guys will release that. your open records? I'm sorry? Well, you guys will release your open records and show the arrests you guys are making here and what the charges are? No. That is an issue you have to take up with the records department. That's not my department. There are laws. And Where, where's your records department? First of all, you and your friend are incredibly stupid, as we shall see later on. But the officer is just too polite to say anything about it at all. And second of all, check the grammar on the statements that you put on these videos because they are incredibly atrocious. What do you have, a third grade level of understanding in that area? Because I'd like to know what kind of arrests are being made here. Um, you know it is a holiday, right? I mean, like I said, I, I'm she's not going to debate here. whether it's a holiday or not she's, a not. she's not here because it's a holiday, which is why that was closed, because it is a, it's a federal holiday. So the ones of us that are patrolling the streets that have to work on holidays, we're the only ones here. So there's no admin, there's... You've got three police There's not a officers. Front desk person. What is not the number? I just want to know what the number one offense you've seen people go to jail for here is it, within your uh, DWI. DWI. Right off the top of my head, DWI. So you guys are patrolling these cars out here uh, heavily, then, because that's mostly pulling cars over. Okay, you do understand where you're at, correct? Yeah. Do you know how large our city is? No, I don't know how large it is, but I know Would what you I'm like at. to know. Well, sure. I can tell you, it's about eight thousand people. 8,000 people, people and the number one offense that you've seen is DUI? DWI, yeah. And, and are these people doing yeah, I'll, field I'll sobriety you, tests? I'll give, you a little, I'll give you a little piece of info. You know what our highest call load is? Do you know what our highest calls are? What we get called out most on? Uh, shit. Sure. Okay. What, trespassing? Yes. Mm -mm. Alarm calls. So burglaries are the number one, do you think? Not burglaries. I didn't say burglaries. I said alarm calls. That's interesting. You say the number one calls you guys are getting that people want the police help are for alarms, but the number one arrestable offense is DUI you've seen. So people aren't calling for the DUIs. People you know, are calling. <laughs> people don't call for DWIs. Officers patrol and locate DWIs. So they're targeting the drivers, kind of like a predatory. Yes, that is not what I said. And I understand that you have two cameras in my face, and I will not. Let me understand. And I do too. And I want to so, so, be very clear because I'm a very articulate person. I understand how to apply the law and understand the law. Well, that's I'm good. not going to stand here and have you twist my words. You asked me a question. I simply answered it. Well, we're not twisting your words. We're just trying to. So how is the car get pulled over then? <laughs> huh? How are the cars getting pulled over? Here in Kennedale? Traffic offenses. Traffic offenses. Yeah. So are people calling you for traffic offenses? No, that's part of being a police officer. You know what you... that shows the public, though? That you guys are getting trying to get out here and get money for the city's annual budget. You're not actually being called out there. The city If somebody does, people don't care about so do you, do you? How much money do you think? Thousands of city, thousands. A city. Easily thousands. Just for one person. Mm -mm, not the city. The city's annual budget? has nothing to do with DWIs. So you don't get any fines and forfeitures for the state then? I know that's a lie because every person that gets found guilty of a DUI has to pay fines or have to pay bond. There's that money. It doesn't go to us. It doesn't go to you, but you guys are getting it for somebody else. Like the money we're getting here, we're sending to Ukraine. So, they didn't do okay. nothing for that money. So tell us how, if, if, 
if what you say is true, tell tell us what we should do. Respond to calls and not stalk uh, people on the roadway. Okay. In my opinion, I mean, unless you're getting a call saying, "Hey, there's a car out here driving all over the road, and I somebody needs your help," and then, that's one thing. then so you come I, out. So let me ask you a question. Wow, that sounds incredibly stupid right there. Wait until somebody calls in on a drunk driver swerving up and down the road. Very interesting and stupid idea, considering that by the time the police get there, an accident probably would have already happened as a result, and probably more people would die in traffic accidents due to drunk drivers than they already do now. Were you born this stupid, or did you have to work at it? So if I see someone run a red light and potentially hit someone, I shouldn't stop them for that? I should just let them go? If you see a crime happening. Okay. But what's happening with these... At that red light, sure, you know... But if they the run it, I should just let them run it and let them yes, go? Yes, absolutely. The, really, yeah. yeah, I mean, Even you should. Even though the transportation code says that's... That's an offense. It's a traffic well, offense. Well, you know, the you know, Supreme Court... Lot of this transportation code... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He just got to the Supreme Court portion of the video. Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer! Constitutional anyways. You know Dan's Fourth vs. Tech Line? You want to talk law? You know Dan's Fourth vs. Tech Line? What that is? A what? Dan's Fourth vs. Tech Line is a Supreme Court ruling. So when we talk about applying the law, right. let's talk about... I would have to look up case law. I don't, I don't sit around all day long. I'll tell you what it is. Law. I'll tell you what it is. It basically, the Supreme Court ruled that you don't have to have a driver's license to operate a motor vehicle. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, dude. You have followed into Chili's footsteps and gone way beyond stupidity. You've gone to plaid. At least Chili tried to make it a reasonable and believable lie. But you took his lie to a whole new level of stupidity. Tech Lines versus Danforth has nothing to do with the validity of driver's licenses in the U.S. Constitution. And add to that, it was a 1945 Mississippi Supreme Court case, you moron. Not a U.S. Supreme Court case. And the majority of the damn case was about the width of the roads in Mississippi, you dunderhead. I will link that case in the description box below. I've read it several times. If you, if you are curious, go ahead and read it yourself, and you'll get a good laugh at how wrong this idiot is. Well, now let's get back to the video, because the officer is about to educate him on the Tenth Amendment, and then I will just end the video after that, because it's nothing more than more stupidity after this. This just happened to be the worst of it. Okay. Well, here's what I'm going to say to that. Um, the Tenth Amendment states that the state can actually mandate their laws for penal and transportation code. So I, I'm not really going to debate whether you can drive or not drive with out or with a driver's license yeah now it still gets enforced but you know so, the supreme court did rule you don't have to have a driver's license to drive so is, is fun, <laughs> as fun as this has been um if i can do anything else for you i'm gonna go and print your open records request all right well i figured i might as well end it right here because there's just so much more stupid in here when i watched it in full Thank you to my subscriber for sending it to me because that was a real chore to get through. And I'm sure you felt it too. But Cody, couldn't you have looked up a case law that nobody really knows about? Some obscure law that's probably not listed on the internet. Or pull a case law out of your ass that nobody will find. 
and try to use that as an argument saying the Supreme Court made that ruling, blah, blah, blah. Of course, people are going to ask for citations, but since you'll never provide one anyway, you're pretty much covered.